Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Inks Comparison video, and this is Organic Studios Inks Comparison number one video. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first ink, I've actually had an accident where this uh, another bottle of ink actually leaked. So um, I have actually uh, put a label on this one. So it's Organic Studio Golden Orange. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, I do, I'm a little bit torn with this ink because I'm not so sure. I guess it is a golden orange, but to me, it just, it doesn't really speak to me, I guess, this ink, unfortunately. So this is Organics Studio, and this is Golden Orange. And this is the actual cap. So it does actually look as though it's quite, there's a, quite a bit of sediment there in that bottle. The next ink is Organic Studios, and this is uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Raven's Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is more of a, darker red and you can see it getting there a little bit light towards the end do a second pass just to show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib so this is organics studio and it's raven's red The next ink is Organic Studio and it's Walden Pond. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is quite a thick ink and thick inks normally sheen a lot. So this I think will be quite a sheening ink. So we'll put a, another layer of ink there just to saturate it more. And also show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Organics Studio. And it's Walden Pond. Now I just want to try and show you this. If you can look around the threads here on the bottle, you will see a huge amount of sheen going on there. Now, the next one I have here is a sample that I received from a friend, and this is Organic Studio Uranium. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I have to say that this is quite a nice green ink. This is more my kind of green. We'll do a second pass just to show the difference between a wet and a dry nib. So this is Organics Studio and it's Uranium. The next ink is Organic Studio Nitrogen and this is a heavy sheening ink. And when I say heavy sheening, you'll see around the rim of the threads of that bottle, it is sheening a lot. And we'll do an ink swatch. And sheening inks tend to be quite thick and viscous, and this certainly is. So we'll do a second pass there on the top, just to show the difference between a wet and a dry nib, and also bring that sheen out a little bit more. So this is Organics. Studio Nitrogen. 
and you will see that this this is really the mother of all sheening inks and then the last ink i have here is organic studio and this is nitrogen gold which is an ink that i have made with it's basically organic studio nitrogen and some gold shimmer so we'll do an ink swatch And again, obviously, this ink is going to be quite thick and viscous because this is a sheening ink. And we'll do a second pass. And this is Organics Studio. And this is Nitrogen. gold so i think let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail so we have organic studio golden orange and this once it's dried is more of a golden orange uh it's uh the writing sample there is a little bit more darker it's difficult really to see a lot between a wet and a dry writing nib maybe you can see a little bit lighter here um there isn't a lot of shading going on and there's really no sheening either the next ink is organic studio ravens red and you can see here the difference between a wet and a dry nib and there's again not a lot of shading going on however if i try to tilt this here you may see some sort of bronzish sort of sheen there it's very subtle but you do see it on that Organic Studio Raven's Red. The next one is a sheen monster. And you do have to be careful. This is really hard to clean out of pens. And if you get dried up specks of ink on your desk, it's very difficult because it will smear everywhere. This is Organic Studio Walden Pond. Now, yes, you can see a difference between the wet and the dry there really isn't any shading going on and this is the reason why look at that sheen there that is humongous like insane amounts of sheen and to be honest i have never really been a fan of walden pond but i don't know i may have to give that a try again the next one is Organic Studio Uranium. Now, you can see a huge difference here between the wet and the dry writing nib. I actually do like the writing sample here. I think that's a really nice green. There is also a lot of shading going on. And around these sort of edges here, the pulled areas, you may see some sheen there. It's very subtle, but there is some sheen. Now, on to what essentially is a sheen monster, Organic Studio Nitrogen. And, well, again, like you can see a difference here, though, um, between the wet and the dry. And uh, But this there really isn't a lot of shading. The writing is quite dark. But then look at this amount of sheen again. So... There is a lot of sheen here. So, and if you look at the writing sample there, you'll see that sheen as well in the writing sample. Now, the last ink is basically, again, Organic Studio Nitrogen, but it's got gold shimmer in. And this is an ink that, so I took the ink and I added some gold perlex uh, sort of um, particulate into, or shimmer, into the ink. And you'll see again sort of the difference between a wet and a dry nib. But this not only has sheen, but it has shimmer. And I have to say that that's quite an interesting approach there. So, and if you look at the writing sample, you can really see it there. So, I this is another ink that I actually do like. Um, the problem with Organic Studio Nitrogen is that, again, like Walden Pond, if you get a few specks anywhere, it just smears like crazy. It is a 
not a super saturated ink. It's a hyper super saturated ink. It really has a lot of dye content and not a lot of water in it. So here's my Organic Studio ink comparison video number one. If there are any inks in here that you like to look of, let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other Organic Studio inks that you like the look of uh, or that you have and you would like me to take a look at, then let me know in the comments below. So that's my Organic Studio ink comparison video number one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.